hello, welcome back to some Ultron Bass. I hope you're doing great. Recently, we reviewed the TC Electronic BAM 200, which is another uh, small, portable, light, 200 watt, uh, mini amp, bass amp, which is great. And uh, I thought it sounded very, very nice. And a lot of people said to me, well, you know, if the amp is this small and the speakers are still big, how does that really help me? I mean, I still got to lug the speakers. Now, at some gigs, even with a small 200 watt amp, you need a fair size cabinet to fill the room, to give you enough volume. Uh, as cabinets get smaller, they tend to produce less volume. So, but there are a lot of gigs now where you don't actually need those big cabinets. You know, it's, it's, you could get away with much, much less. And if you like going the head and cabinet route so that you can use this amp with large cabinets, small cabinets, 8x10s, 4.10s, 115, 2.10s, whatever you want. So being that the amp is so small and light, the industry has responded by making speakers small and light. Now this is a good example of small lightweight speakers. This is the Artist brand 1x10 bass speaker. It is uh, 4 ohms, so it will take advantage of the full power of the head. I think this is rated, it says on the back 250 watts RMS, but I think on the website it rates at about 150, which is fine. It has no tweeter, it's just the 10 inch speaker, it's ported, and it's 11 kilograms, it's pretty easy to carry around. It has two quarter inch jack sockets on the back. And uh, it does, it's a neodymium speaker and it says 250 watts. I'm not exactly sure about that rating on the back of this one. It could be a misprint, but um, it certainly fits the bill with this amp for a lot of players because um, there you go, you, you got your rig sorted, right? This can go in your gig bag, this you can carry in one hand, you can carry your bass in the other hand, in you go, out you go, very, very easy. But let's hear what it sounds like, because ultimately, if it doesn't sound good, what's the point, right? <laughs> So that was a quick review of the Artist BCN 110, 110-inch, 150-watt uh, mini speaker. It's, um, it sounds pretty good. You probably noticed I've cut the mids quite a bit because it is very mid-pronounced, this box. If you put it on the floor, it gains a little bit more bottom end, which is beneficial to any amplifier or combo of this kind of size with a, with a single speaker. Um, the only thing I don't like about it is this handle that's mounted right across the middle, um, which is great for carrying it, but not so good for sitting your amp on there. This rocks backwards and forwards a little bit, although it doesn't move, and I, I'm sure it won't hurt it. Um, I think they could have been in a better spot, maybe, maybe. But in any case, at this price, it's neither here nor there. So this is suitable for those 
those low volume rehearsals, low volume gigs where you need to get in and out uh, easily as possible. A little amp like that paired with that goes into your gig bag and off you go. Makes it nice and easy. The only thing that I will mention again as a bit of a warning, this cabinet is 4 ohms. This amp is 4 ohms minimum. So once you have one of these types of heads with this cabinet, you can't add any other cabinets. Now I'm sure there's other brands that you can get the 8 ohm version, which means you could potentially have one for the smaller gigs, and when you go to the medium sized gig you could stack two of them and still use the same amp. So that, that, you have to bear that in mind when you're thinking of one of these. So let me know what you think in the comments. As ever, thanks for spending this time with me. Keep making music, keep playing bass, be good to each other. God bless, and I'll see you guys real soon. It's so bye for now.